What's up guys? It's middle of winter here in Chicago. Can't do a lot of outside work. So I started looking for projects on eBay. I came across this vintage Dobro guitar that was sitting in an old house in North Carolina. Got into a little bit of a bidding war and probably overpaid for this. I was looking for a steel body guitar. I saw this guy on YouTube here. You can give a listen to this for a second. And that guy rocks out a Dobro and I said, I need to get one. And I found this one. And I don't know the brand, don't know the age. Uh, it did look like an old steel body. And I was looking at the pictures and I could see the neck was cracked. It had a capo at the second fret here that has been on there forever. It's got some Klusen tuners that have shrank pretty good. I think I can restore those. It's got this wicked patina on it. Uh, it's been sitting out forever. What I wanted to do today is just take it apart real quick and let it sit and see if anybody knows what this is. I'm hoping that there's gonna be some stamps that looks like a bunch of serial numbers or something on top here, but I can't read it. And it's got a wicked bend in the neck. So the interesting thing about the way this was built, there's no truss rod, but they laid a maple strip down and then glued the fretboard on and the neck is way warped but I think I can fix it. What I'm gonna do is pull this filler strip off, put another strip down, glue it, and then put a new fretboard down, and we should be pretty good. This fretboard is kind of destroyed, but there's actually a decent amount of meat on it. Uh, but really what I wanna to do today is take it apart, see if any of you guys know what this is, do some more research. No sanding, thank God. <laughs> uh, but I want to see what this is. I'm hoping that there's some stamp marks on the cone. It is so musty. You can smell that mold on the guitar. I'm not sure I'm going to clean this off. I actually kind of like it, but at least I want to clean it up. So I'm not sure what that means. The nut is gone from here. The cone seems to be in shape still. I can feel as I'm talking, the cone is still moving. It hasn't collapsed. So we're gonna cut off the strings, pop all this stuff off in a bin, let it sit. I'm hoping you guys know a little bit more than me and I'll go search some forms as well. No stamps or markings on the tailpiece, the cone looks like it's floating, cut off these strings, the fretboard looks like it's been chewed into. There are no headstock markers. Strings seem 100 years old. But really what I want to do is get in here and see what this is. Even these screws have a nice patina on them. So I don't think anybody's in, been in here for a while. There are some dust bunnies in here, but I don't think a mouse would have crawled in here. The screws aren't rusted in. But I bet this top is.
We really don't want to destroy anything. Ooh. The cone is destroyed. It's got a bunch of tears in it. Well, are those tears? I don't know. No stamps. We'll vacuum this out here real quick. see any stamps in here but I'm wondering how you can get this neck out so screw here screw here To figure out how to neck, get the neck off, gotta do a little bit more research. I don't see any stamps or markings. And I don't see any screws holding this in. But it's beat up here on the back. It's definitely an old steel body. There's a safety pin floating around in there. All right, so I got to that point last night and I realized I needed to do some more research, took everything, left it, and went up to my computer. I found a couple websites about old Dobros and there are five screws right here. I also took some additional pictures inside that you can see the screws. So I knew it was on the right path. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark where this stuff is that way when I pull it out I'll sort of have an idea where it needs to go back in the neck needs to be reset so I'll have to play with that a little bit too 
but just to keep everything a little bit original, we're going to draw a couple lines here. one, call this one two, so we'll get the razor blade in here, we'll dig these out, I might just have to drill these out. First one came out easy. Maybe some heat will help. I don't think that helped. These dots are like the smallest dots I've ever seen. Oh, They're not coming. I'm doing is I'm pushing the razor blade in at an angle. I'm trying to pop this off. Just drill it out. I'm gonna hurt my finger. Smells like nitro. The screws are ugly, filled with glue. Let's clean these out. Got it. I think that screw's actually broke.
So there, I've worked the neck out to here. I don't want to cut these pieces of wood, but I think I might have to. All of my saws are too big to do anything here. I thought I'd do is I would cut some of this away and then cut the nail. But that's not happening. Well, let's try and hex all the screw off. that little screw, little nail. That was the easy side. So what I was doing is I cut enough of this away and I came back with my hacksaw. I think that worked. There she is. Let's see how much this neck is already separated. I could probably separate the rest of it right now. Hold on. I know, wait, I'm almost done. So that was the neck. That was the nut. This thing smells like hell. I think a maple strip would much help this. You can see the, re the relief they used to put this in. I'm actually just gonna let this sit for a while. Let it must out. No markings on the back of the neck. As I was looking at this, it looks like it's actually been painted. So the body and the neck were painted. This patina 
came from the paint sort of wearing away. But we'll let this sit for a while, let this neck must out, and then we'll get to it probably in a month or so. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.